what if I could show you a camper van that fits in a traditional parking spot that can travel four, sleep five, and under a hundred grand. Yeah, this is the Thor Dazzle 2JB with a pop top, a full bath, convertible sofa in the back, and this space up front, two completely separate sleeping and eating areas, and a big galley. You're gonna like this camper van, wait till you see this. Let me show you the front great room as I call it. Great because it has a lot of space and functionality. This is the ladder, right? To access the pop top, which is up here. And you can sleep a couple people pretty easily if you got some grandkids, some kids. This is a great place to park them. You have a huge skylight. Here's some charging ports. There is no heat or AC up here. So you kind of moderate that with the uh, venting system. These windows do roll down so you can or zip unzip so you can see outside and get some ventilation on three sides there is a little bit of storage in the pizza oven as we call it above the cab and there's a little bit more storage here this is on the new style uh, ram pro master cab these seats both spin around but this one i found doesn't function well because of the table placement so while this table does our seat does spin around you can access this this is a lagoon table uh, kind of comes on two sides. There's another arm that makes this move around uh, so you can have a little more fun with that. This bedding situation here is perfect. This is where you put a couple people, right, and seat belts, lap belts. This does not make up into a bed. So maybe if you're on the small size or have a, a grandkid, they would love this as their own separate space for sleeping. Maybe if you're on the small size and want to just have a quick, quick snooze, you don't want to deal with the bed back here, or you want two people to have a snooze, this is how you can have another sleeping area up front. So sleeping area one, two, and in the back would be three. Pretty amazing. Storage, overhead, really big cabinetry, nice hinges, nicely done. Not positive locking, but they stay closed. It'd take quite a bit to get those opened up in transit. Here we have a window covering. Uh, it's kind of roll down, slide by side window. Very nice, some lighting up here. Looking around here, we're gonna deploy this, or undeploy. Take the ladder down here in a minute. I'll show you how to do that. This is the bug screen when the door is open. And it's the uh, zip and magnetic style. Uh, I'm sorry, not, not magnetic, it's a zip system right here on both sides. This is your Truma heat and hot water, either propane powered or electric, then plugged into shore power. This is your inverter. And is kind of the Thor thing these days is this is the integrated RV systems panel. I really like this. Thor's done a good job on this. Uh, simple buttons like lights off, lights on, and just makes it really, really easy. So I'm going to take the ladder down. We're going to deploy it just right here in the cab for right now. It probably stores best, I'm guessing, in the back behind the seat. But let's take that down so you can see what that looks like, and then we'll keep moving. And the way the ladder works, it's uh, you put on some pegs up above and then it collapses in half like that, which is wah, pretty smart. And then there's a locking mechanism here so that it um, doesn't come apart on you. So I'm just going to put it right here in the cab until we get done with this uh, tour. Let's stand it right there. We don't want to slide. All right, let's keep moving. So next to the great room is the galley. And this is a really large galley. It's got a handle here, some hooks this is the battery kill switch electrical storage three two one really large storage residential style sink with a pull out thing very nice sink perfect this is a pop-up power pole very smart and a two burner dometic really attractive propane storage down below this is the Vitrofrigo, Italian brand refrigerator, stainless on the outside, so gorgeous. And then fairly standard stuff in here, but pretty good size, including the freezer, which is right here. You can get some ice in there for martinis or what have you, popsicles for the kids, and door storage as well. Really beautiful. Rounding out the galley up above, we have a microwave, standard microwave, splash garden. And then some more cabinetry here with an outlet should you need an outlet. Behind us is more storage. This could be used as a wardrobe 
Or I've seen some people build shelves in here so you can have a big old pantry. What's nice is that this comes all the way out here so you don't have any wasted space, uh, which is really smart. I've seen some in the past where they only go this deep and you have stuff here, space here, but it's unusable because of the door. So way to go, Thor. And then down below, again, we have uh, more storage, quite a bit. And then an outlet down here, which is kind of an interesting placement for an outlet. Heater vent. And by the way, under the little area here, there's more power and USB. So if you're up here working, run your cables up, and it's really smart. Let's take a look at the bathroom. And this is behind door number one. This is a tambour style door, kind of a combination of plastic and aluminum. And what's really cool about it is you don't need a shower curtain in the shower because this is all waterproof in here. So it is a cassette toilet and you access the cassette from the outside. There's your toilet tissue holder, drain, pull down sink. So you do your business here, splash around and then empty into the drain and your sink goes out of way. This is your medicine chest. Oh, this side, hello. Um, lots of storage here. You can do various things in there very easily. I use uh, dollar store storage bins in my cabinetry and it works really well. And hey everybody, by the way, if we're meeting for the first time, howdy. My name is Scott, welcome to my YouTube channel, Go Small, Live Large, all about the camper van travel experience. Don't give us a thumb up if you're learning anything. I really like this floor plan, what about you? Shower, by the way, shower controls down here. And this is cool, this is a shower miser. What that means is that the water circulate, recirculates out, not coming out of the shower, but actually works uh, to have the water go back into the fresh water tank until it gets warm. You throw the valve and now you've got water coming out of the sink or the shower, pretty cool. And again, no shower curtain necessary. This kind of rolls back like this and the whole bathroom thing goes away pretty easily. It's a snug fit. I would have to admit, you probably have to kind of straddle, sit on the toilet to shower, but in a pinch, you can definitely take a shower. And if you're on the larger size, um, you can actually pivot this a little bit and the toilet will pivot so you can be more comfortable sitting on the stool. Pretty cool, right? No bathroom vent because of the pop top up above. Looking in the back, this is a second great room. Great room meaning you can do a lot of different things in this space. Clearly it's been set up for table seating, right? So you have somebody sit here, kid, a couple of adults, another adult here. It comes on a pole style table, which means it's not lagoon. So it's secured to the floor and it's secured with a single fastener here. So you really don't have any options on height you do have a couple options on twisting it. And then you're kind of scooting around the table to get in position. And that's kind of a little bit of a bummer, depending on how you want to roll. But uh, with the tables deployed, um, you're kind of at the mercy of the height of the table. And it's pretty high. But nonetheless, you get lots of folks around this one, two, three, four-ish to do a bunch of stuff. And um, it's a pretty cool setup. This does turn into a bed. Let's see if we can show you that. All right, for the main bed setup, it's a little bit of a yoga move. Let me show you. First of all, we start with removing the table. Again, it's on the pedestal. You just kind of lift it. It's fairly a firm wah, lift like that. We're going to set it aside right here. And the pole just comes out of the floor like that. This goes, I don't know, someplace different. We'll just put it right back here for now, like that. And then this is not powered sofa. A lot of times you see these as a powered sofa. Again, for the price point under hundred grand, it's manual. Let me show you this, kind of clever. So you kind of pull this thing forward like this. It folds up like that. It kind of snags on the handle and it folds down, caught on the table. Again, that's kind of the problem. I'm not super used to these, so it's kind of real time. But anyway, here it goes. Now, what happens is the table top becomes this portion here if you want to. So right now you have two twin size beds. So person one, person two, you have an aisle way to get out of the bed in the middle of the night to use the toilet. Your feet will go here for this person, certainly, um, because your head clearance is not that great. But if you want to make a really big bed, all you have to do is put the tabletop in like this, 
take this cushion right there. This little guy fits there. And there you go. That's a pretty good sized bed. That'll be listed in the spec, so you want to see that at the end of the video. To reverse this in the morning, you kind of reverse it, right? So this goes back up here. This gets set aside. The table will just kind of put off to the side for a minute. And then do this, you just kind of lift from this side. It brings up the back. And there you go. Back to normal. This little cushion goes here. Pretty smart and you're good to go. Let's keep looking around. There's a few things to point out on the inside. Then let's take a look on the outside. In the great room, more storage, one long cabinet, which is great. Roll up bug screen, air conditioning, thank goodness. AC, one long night lights, reading lights right there. Slide over window, pretty cool. Like that, blackout screen. TV setup, probably a mount will go here for your television that you can swing around this way a little bit. And this is your other storage. This being another huge wardrobe or pantry, which I think a lot of folks would use for that. Let me show you outside, but we're gonna com be competing with the, uh, the pressure washer because they're washing the vans today. So I apologize for the noise. Let's jump outside. I owe you an apology. It doesn't happen very often, but sometimes I forget to press the record button. So we're using the dealer exterior photographs. Enjoy these for just a walk around and get a sense of what that vehicle looks like on state of the end for pricing and specs. a pretty compelling camper van. Why? Because you can travel four people in seat belts. You can sleep one, two, three, four, maybe even five people. Perfect for a family. Perfect for grandma and grandpa. Lots of room. Maybe the dog sits up there. That's their sleeping spot. A functional shower, functional galley, and just a really great way to um, travel in comfort. Until we see you soon, we like to say peace be with you and journey on. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. We just want to thank our friends here at La Mesa RV Rec Van. They're really focusing on vans in Phoenix, Arizona. They carry some of the best brands, Storyteller, Thor, Leisure Travel Vans, Tiffin and Winnebago. So really great brands carried by these guys. And uh, this is their Phoenix location. They have a lot of inventory here and are ready to talk to you. And just a, again, a big thanks to these guys for uh, giving me access to this vehicle.